Good morning. Good morning! What Monokuma? What is he doing here? Ah! <laughs> nice reaction! I'm glad you didn't disappoint! Wh what? What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up! So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person! What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I'd figure I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Somebody died. I'm telling you right now, someone died. Hear what? <laughs> Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. What? Say what? What? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Good luck! Something's happened to someone. Is it... was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would... But what if? No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Only four people? Ah. Makoto. Uh, um. Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... Hmm. Byakuya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to, to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The... something? Perhaps... It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... So, so if something really did happen, does that mean somebody did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. <laughs> just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? <laughs> to judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? Why? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <laughs> what good does it do to me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. S stop saying that already. Uh, um. Uh, there's something wrong with him. For serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game is afoot. Oh my fuck, we gotta start looking. My guess is that it's gotta be on the second floor, considering that's the room that's probably, or like the floor that recently got we got access to because of what happened, or that we finished the first uh, case. But yeah, oh my fuck, let's start looking. Alright, let's look around. Hina is right here. The good thing about it is, right, if, if someone has been so, killed, um... we're actually relieved to see people alive because you know, like, okay, that person hasn't died. So then we can kind of, I think we saw four people in the, what was it? In the, in the hallway? Not the hallway, the, the dining hall. So we can already cross those people off of the list. So yeah, I, I think we didn't see Kyoko, we didn't see Taku, we didn't see Mondo, I think. So, oh god, like we just gotta start crossing off people off the list that who who aren't dead. Because I'm really curious that if someone died, who died? I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the only place that's new to all of us. 
So it seems like the most natural place for your genius. Exactly what I was thinking, but if Hina backs up my plan, that means it's gotta be a good one. Alright, the second floor. Oh, I see you! I see you! Don't think I don't see you behind there, huh, hero? Trying to peek through sneakily who's coming here. I see you, hero. You're perfect. Yo. Hey, Makoto! Honestly, what do you think? Huh? About what? For serious. About Byakuya. You think he's being brainwashed or what? I, I don't know. You know more about that kind of thing than me, right? Mm -hmm. Wh what? What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, you're some kind of psychic, right? Hey. Listen, Makoto. I think you've completely misunderstood what it is I do. Okay. Listen. Fortune telling is like... Well? It's totally different from brainwashing or hypnosis or any of that pseudo-scientific bullcrap. <sighs> I need you to understand that. So you expect me to think that fortune telling, uh, fortune telling isn't pseudo-science? Sorry, but I don't want to get yelled at. Right, hero. Quickly step away from the crazy man. Second floor. Well, the pool is the closest one, so let's start here. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if someone just freaking drowned, you know? Alright, the only one we can answer is obviously the boys. Huh? The door is open. But aren't they supposed to be locked? Do we hit the jackpot already? For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Ah. Please look around to your heart's content. Okay. Investigation? It's all clear now. Just as I thought. Byakuya! I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. C come on! And the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girl's locker room. He was muttering, as if talking only to himself. While well, without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker ro uh, room door. And the door swung open without a sound. Oh no. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Who is it? Jihiro? Wh what? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... A wild... Almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Oh fuck, deadly life. So it changes the deadly life the moment someone has been killed, I think. And then the investigation and everything starts. Chihiro died? I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me, like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Byakuya, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in the front of a TV screen. I <sighs> see. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended, somehow. And on the wall it says bloodlust. I mean, that is, the fact that the body, body has been suspended like this, right, the corpse, it's almost like they're trying to send a message, right? And something's been written on the wall, in blood. Bloodlust? Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her! How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No. That's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for an everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. <laughs> it's almost as if whoever did this 
did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my what head... What the heck? Hey! I heard screaming! Did something... <laughs> Jihiro! That's a happier bell, even though it's a sadder time. A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Oh god. What the hell was that? What? Ah, uh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka's, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcements. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The, the body discovery announcement? Then Jihiro really is... Naturally. Dead. Yes. Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. <laughs> another life or death game to uncover the killer. Fuck me. Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken win wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of, of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. I couldn't keep her safe. So, there's another victim! Hmm. Which means, we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man! What the? What the fuck is this? What? It's a dream! This is a dream! It's all just a dream! In fact, I haven't even been born yet! I don't have any memory of ever being alive! <sighs> Shut up. The thing that has really interested me is like, you know, that there's blood on that poster. Oh my god, there's blood on the the weight as well. Okay, so... Uh, the thing is... I, I'll, I'm gonna say a couple of things quickly before we start actually investigating, but... My, my earlier thoughts is that the fact like the Sagra has been really protective of others, but she is a person that could be capable of this. This happened in the girls' locker room, meaning most likely only girls, a girl did this, right? You could argue that, you know, for some reason, but the rules that have set in place are fairly strict. That if a girl or, or you know, if the ebooks are switched, if a, a guy came into the girl locker room for some ever reason, they actually get shot by the, by the sentry gun or machine gun or whatever the fuck was set in place. So it seems highly likely that it was a girl and this murder isn't just an accident or you know something that this is clearly something that has been planned and this is clearly to send a message so it's gotta be someone very capable of doing so. Sakura is definitely one of those girls. Maybe Celeste as well. Kyoko kinda too I think but I don't know. Kyoko is like my, my uh, guardian angel so I don't feel that she's done it but I, I just think that she could be capable of doing so. But let us investigate. Uh, first let's talk to the people. Or not? No, we gotta look around first, okay. Uh, first the bloody dumbbell. No, there are more importance to worry about right now than a dumbbell. Okay, I guess we just gotta go straight to the body. Hmm. For now, pay attention to the wall. Huh? <laughs> I said it once already. There was a word written there. On the wall? Bloodlust. The word bloodlust is written on the wall and blood. So. I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. <laughs> but, you know, 
that thing about writing bloodlust and blood. Doesn't it sound kind of familiar? <laughs> a murderous feed who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. Oh, who was the one? Who was the one that actually said that? Wasn't it to uh, Toko? Who came up with this idea? Was it Toko or Hina? I'm not entirely sure, but I remember someone bringing up the fact that, uh, that you know, that it isn't Monokuma really who set this in place, but like a serial killer that was out in the real world. But it could be that it's just paying an homage to that person, you know? I don't know, or, or it's just, you know, actually a way to set other people off of their own track and push suspicion somewhere else. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And with ni uh, what nickname did the internet give this mysterious serial killer? What? What? G Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack? The murderous fiend who Grizzlies attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? And this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. What? The Real? Wait! Are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There's no way! Hmm. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I am surprised at their stupidity. Well, I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Uh. <laughs> what? what is it now? Toko! Hina was pointing towards the entrance to the girl's locker room. <laughs> Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. Huh? No, no, no! Why? 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 Good dunk. <laughs> she fainted! That did not sound good! Oh. Toko! Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Oh. Toko! Are you okay? Come on! Wake up! Oh, um... That's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. Oh! So she's a hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Um... This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides a room. No, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Hmm. Ah, so since she didn't think on purpose, it doesn't count? Gotcha. Just a second! D Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she'd hear her. Toko suddenly shot awake, as in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. What the heck? What is, what is with her tongue? It was like a piece of meat just like hanging out of her mouth. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? huh? What? <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know. It happens, right? Was I the only one? She's not stuttering anymore. D Toko? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? <laughs> oh my god, she's a psychopath. What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> the world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Well, 
this is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, no, everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? I see. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. Mm. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, um... I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, could you help me? <laughs> <laughs> she totally ignored me. Hmm. Very well. You take care of the girl, and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura? And Mondo on guard duty again. Uh, hold on in a second. Rushing to an investigation? <laughs> the mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. There is no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. <laughs> isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course! Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because that's how graduation works. Oh my god, imagine if I had to graduate high school this way. Oh my god, I don't think I would have even graduated. I would have been the first victim, just like flat out dead. Just like, yep. Then it's happened again? Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us killed a fellow classmate. Hmm? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Hey, I just so happened to manage to get a lot of balls out of the Mono Mono machine, okay? I have a lot of balls. <sighs> Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Yeah! Actually... I don't have any either. Sorry! Stop talking. Stop monologuing. Give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I sure did jump. It's the Monokuma file! Allow me to present the next Monokuma file! I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya later! So please. Do your very tippy top best in this investigation! No way! Do, do we really gotta do another investigation? Examining the corpse of one of our friends. Having to suspect all other friends. Why? Yep, we gotta go through this again. I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh no! I I hate it too! Help me! I, I've had enough! I'm getting out of here! Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Such ignorance. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all of this. Are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. D that's true, but to jump into it so soon... What? What? Do you want to die? Such ignorance. Fine. Then go off and die somewhere. Right now. Go ahead. You're a waste of space. D uh, Damn you! A dead body is an object? Piece of shit! Chihiro wasn't an object! Show a little respect or I'll beat some into you! Calm down. Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byakuya says. K Kyoko. Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. If Byakuya is right, that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro. That's right. Then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims. If we mess this up, we're all dead meat! Hey! Hey! Hold on! Hold on! If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer! Even any one killing game, 
the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. <laughs> what? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually, I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would all be over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. So then, in that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on the least potential of a serial angle, a serial killer angle. Yeah. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Punishment is waiting for you. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hmm, I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can come up or can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. Oh my god. Because the thing that could happen with this place rule in place right now, right, is that if so, if the real, if the blackened person feels like someone is getting close on his trail, he could try and kill that person too, right? So yeah, essentially what this does is that it becomes, even while investigating, it becomes incredibly dangerous to be alone. But then again, if you're not, if you're alone, if you're not alone, if and if you're together with someone, how can you know you trust that person? Oh my fuck. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up! So, w um... Well, for now, Takami is gonna drop off Toko off at a room. Mm. Nice! I'm gonna get dropped off! There is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Two sweets. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, Is that okay? then we will quickly follow into her afterlife. That's true. I hate this. But if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice.